Okay, uh, going to talk about R410A as a refrigerant. Now, R410A was developed to replace R22. It is a near azeotropic mix. I just did a video on the difference between zeotropes and azeotropes. And it is a near azeotrope mix, but it does have to be charged as a liquid. Okay, it is a higher pressure uh, refrigerant than uh, R22 at about 70 degrees. It is going to be about 200 pounds. So there's a corresponding issue with leaks on these things. They, they do tend to leak a little more than the R22 systems did. It is an air conditioning refrigerant only. I haven't seen it used in any refrigeration applications, although it may be. Uh, this is different from R22 and it has to use pole oil. So what's pole oil? Polyol ester. The pole oil can't be mixed with mineral oil or alkybenzene oil. They don't mix well. And they make nasty stuff. Little blobs of goo inside the system. It's not a drop-in refrigerant for R22, number one, for oil problems. Number two, because it's a different type of refrigerant, it is not going to work in the compressor properly. These compressors are designed for certain refrigerants and they're pumping uh, properties of the different refrigerants. And it's way different between 22 and 410A. 410A has some advantages. It doesn't have any uh, ozone depletion potential. That's primarily why it was changed. I don't think these manufacturers ever would have changed this stuff if it hadn't been for the envir environmental issues that R22 had. So uh, this will be uh, this will be used in virtually every new uh, air conditioner out there. Uh, you know, it's 2016 now, R22 is getting extremely expensive because of the taxes, and it's phasing out big time. So this is the stuff we're going to be using. It has some precautions in it, you know, line sets need to be replaced uh, simply or, or flushed because the oil that was in for R22 is probably mineral oil, or some of them had alky benzene. Uh, will not mix with the pole oil. The one other issue you have with this refrigerant, because you're using pole oil, pole oil is what we call hygroscopic. That means if I put the stuff, a jug of this stuff out in the atmosphere, it will absorb moisture very quickly. Most companies are saying about 15 minutes open and you have an awful lot of moisture in the system. It cannot be removed by evacuation. The evacuation will not remove the moisture. The only way you can remove it is by using filter dryers or maybe multiple changes of filter dryers to get it cleaned up. So pole does have a problem. It does not like to be in the atmosphere. System that's been open for a while, lost its charge and open, uh, there's a real issue here. Anyway, that's 410A. Uh, everybody's going to see lots of it. It's uh, because it's a higher pressure, the cylinder is thicker wall. Uh, so everything's pretty much different with this stuff than the R22 systems. Okay, that is 410A.